Hey Nathan here, welcome to a quick website announcement. And in this announcement video, I'm going to announce the DirectX series start date. Now if you're a member on my website, you would have received an email stating that I will start the DirectX series on Sunday, October 13th. And I'll start the series at that date, and uh, there will be a few tutorials released on that date. It'll be straight to YouTube, so everybody will get to it, and then uh, I should have a DirectX tutorial, at least one tutorial every week after that. So this is a very quick video to discuss that, and to discuss some of the content, and what we're going to do for the series, what the goal for the series is. So when it was announced that there will be no new XNA versions, I did some thoughts on what to do with the website, and I th I figured going straight up DirectX and then going to Monogame later, that would be a good way to handle the transition. So there will be there was there's still a few more XNA tutorials queued up ready to be made and then after that there will be not there won't be any XNA tutorials dedicated XNA tutorials now for things like the artificial intelligence series or things that are heavy in the logic and heavy in the algorithm you know it doesn't matter what I use because I discuss the algorithm for about 30 minutes and discuss my implementation of that in whatever language for the next five minutes or something like that. So that will probably remain XNA for a while until I move everything over to DirectX primary uh, tutorial content. So that is the main process. So how will the DirectX series start? Well. I have been releasing a few C++ videos in the past, and those will continue, and hopefully I'll get everything, everybody that is new to C++, hopefully they'll have all the knowledge up until where you need to be to start with DirectX. You know, pointers, uh, functions, headers, and .cpp files, implementation files. All those things, I'll get into those in the C++ series, and then then the DirectX series will start after that. Alright, so we're going to start off with the basics, you know, discuss how to do Win32 Windows programming, you know, how to create a window and how to go full screen and all that stuff. And then go into DirectX. Now, we are going with the basics first. So we are starting with DirectX 9. For 2D development, you know, uh, DirectX 9 does make things a little more easier. Even though it's on its way out, it's a nice stepping stone in the DirectX development. Once we get the handle on DirectX 9, I'll discuss DirectX 10 and 11 after that. But to start things off, we will be doing DirectX 9 and all the required features for that. Now, what are my plans for the series? I think I'm going to... Go back and redo all the XNA complete games. You know, we have the Paddles, uh, Space Shooter, and Tower Defense. I'm going to go back and redo all those games, Paddles, Space Shooter, and Tower Defense, in DirectX, in a tutorial format for you guys. So that way, we will start off with basic, you know, Pawn Clone. Then we'll go a little bit deeper and have a Space Shooter type of game. And then we'll go even farther and have full graphics, full music, sound effects, and all that stuff later on as well. So first thing, we'll do a few tutorials to get the handle on how to create a window, how to initialize DirectX, 
how to go full screen, how to, you know, handle the resolution and things like that. And then we'll do a few more small stuff, how to display text, how to display texture or sprite, and how to gather input from the keyboard and mouse. And then once that's done, we'll go into the complete games. We'll start with the pedals. You know, that's very basic. You know, we have three rectangles. And then all we have to do is handle keyboard up and down movement for that. And then the computer controls the other paddle. And then we can discuss that as well. Okay. Uh, this is a very quick video. I just wanted to discuss the DirectX announcement. October 13th. That should be a Sunday. That's when it will start. I'll release a few tutorials, two or three. And then once that's done, uh, once we get going, I will do the usual release the tutorials to premium members first. And then a few weeks after that, everybody gets access to it. But what I like to do is release the first few videos of any series for free and then right off the gate, you know, once I get done recording, it'll be directly on YouTube. And then after that, uh, since people do pay to get the premium membership or win it in a contest type of thing, I like to release the, those early for those members. Okay, enough about that. I hope you will enjoy the DirectX series. I've been working on it for quite some time, trying to get things working and how to handle everything in the tutorial formats. Uh, let me know if there's anything specific you want to see in DirectX. You know, we will start with 2D, then we'll go into 3D. We will start with DirectX 9 and then go into the later DirectX versions. So let me know what you want to see in the DirectX tutorials and then uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned for more C++ videos and there will be some more XNA tutorials before there will be no more XNA tutorials. Now for a while I'll still work on XNA projects and then after that probably starting on next year it will be just purely primarily DirectX instead of primarily XNA. Alright, so I hope to see you next time for some C++ videos. Thanks for watching.